In Peru, the Public Prosecutor's Office has qualified as an act of rebellion the non-attendance to court of President-elect Dina Boluarte. Let's see more details in the following report by our correspondent Ramiro Angulo. Good morning. The Public Ministry has qualified as an act of rebellion the non-attendance of President-elect Dina Boluarte to the situations of March 26 and 27 to explain the origin of the 13 Rolex watches and 15 high-end watches she has owned since she started working in the government in July 2021. It should be noted that it is in this context that the Supreme Prosecutor Hernán Mendoza was cited to the Congress of the Republic to explain about these absences. In this hemicycle, the prosecutors also informed that they went to his home and to the government's palace for these absences to be carried out, but that no one attended them in any of these offices, even though they had been told that they could go to the government palace in order to carry out the absences. It should also be recalled that on March 25th, Mateo Castañeda, attorney for President Dina Boluarte, requested the rescheduling of these appointments, indicating that there were a series of events and a very tight agenda. However, the prosecutor's office rejected this request, saying that it was not justified if these activities had been planned in advance of these appointments and if the presence of Dina Boluarte in these events was essential. For specialists, this is an attitude that could become an obstacle to investigations and justice. Dina Boluarte has been investigated for alleged crimes of illicit enrichment and for not providing information in his sworn statements. That is why some political parties such as Peru Libre and Juntos por el Perú have been collecting signatures to present motions of vacancy for this case of the Rolexes. It should be added to this information that the judiciary has rejected the amparo action filed by the legal defense of Dina Boluarte to annul the investigations being carried out in Congress and the prosecutor's office for the more than 50 deaths that occurred between December the 20, 22nd and January 2023 in the protest against her government. This means that both the Congress and the prosecutor's office will continue to investigate President-elect Dina Boluarte. Seguirán investigando a la presidenta designada Dina Boluarte.